The lioness was even bigger than he'd grasped. Her head would be up to his chin. Her body was barrel-shaped, densely muscled, eyes pale as was her coat, torn and healed in spots like a prize fighter's, but shining like silk in the early sun. The flesh hard-packed beneath the taut skin, a long brutish muzzle, lightly bearded, the broad convex arch of the nose ending in a pad of a surprising tea rose pink, kittenish, the curlicues of the nostrils picked out in black, a whirl of fur above each eye, black tears dripping from the inner corners, black lips, the tail black-tipped. Green Lion is set in Cape Town, which is my hometown in South Africa. And in the world of the book, the government has shut down and fenced off the whole of the mountain, Table Mountain, the iconic mountain in the middle of the city, to preserve indigenous species as a private nature reserve. My protagonist gets a job as a zookeeper at a special breeding facility, which is attempting to bring back to life a very rare semi-extinct species of lion that historically used to roam the slopes of the mountain. He becomes responsible for Sekhmet, who is the last remaining black-maned lioness in the world and becomes completely obsessed with her. In fact, he almost falls a little bit in love with the lion. I'm very interested in human relationships with the natural environment and particularly in how, as we humans seem to do more and more damage to our world, we seem to long more and more for a closer connection to nature. So what I'd like people to come away from the book with is hopefully a couple of new thoughts or feelings about the world around them, but also perhaps a sense that instead of trying to preserve some kind of pristine nature that we have lost, rather to think about how we can better look after the world that does surround us now and the other creatures that share it with us.